Hello Virgo, happy spooky season. Welcome to your October full moon love reading. So today, October 20th is the full moon. So this reading is covering October 20th through October 22nd and it's a full moon in Aries. So full moon energy is all about illuminating what's been hiding underneath the surface. So it's really all about secrets and reveals and exposures. And Aries energy is childlike energy. They start the zodiac, so it's like baby energy, curiosity energy. So I definitely feel like this, this reading is going to reveal something. It's really going to be about discovery in some way. So Virgo, let's dive right in and see who is coming in your energy, who's most dominant in your field. Thank you, Spirit Guides of Virgo, for coming through. Thanks for letting us know. So Five of Cups in reverse immediately coming out. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer or Pisces too, but in particular, this is Scorpio energy. So upright, this is resistant energy, crying over spilled milk, upset energy. In reverse, someone's surrendering, someone's letting go. So whoever's coming forward towards you, I feel like they're used to trying to control things or efforting or trying really hard. Right now, they're just letting it go. I feel like they were missing you for a long time. Now they're just like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm letting it go. All right, let's get more for Virgo. What's the secret that's being revealed? What secret is being revealed for Virgo during the full moon in Aries? The chariot upright, Cancer energy, two of cups, Cancer energy, and ace of pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. So this is the fastest moving card in the tarot deck, the chariot. Two of cups Hi. is all about... Okay, I found this on the web for Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus energy. Oh my Check God, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Holy shit. Let me let Siri shut up really quick, Virgo. Okay, no more interruptions. That was terrifying. Anyway, so the chariot is the fastest moving energy in the deck. I thought someone was like in my apartment for a second. I was like, who the hell is that? Fastest moving energy in the deck. Two of cups is all about syncing up with someone. It's very romantic energy. It's all about being on someone's vibration. And then ace of pentacles is a new beginning. It's a new offering. So what this secret is someone wanting to offer you something. This is someone really wanting to make a strong commitment commitment with you. They want to offer you all the blessings Virgo. And this is the person coming towards you. Someone that's kind of surrendering. So if you're not with this person, they're not trying hard. They're letting spirit take the reins. And in doing that spirit is going to make this union happen even faster. Um, but if you have never been with this person before, maybe it's just a misconnection that they're trying to have a more positive outlook on. All right, let's see how you and this person are gonna sync up. What are the circumstances behind how Virgo and this person are going to sync up? Waterfall, effortless, I'm talking about efforting in here, that's really funny. Effortless, so it's gonna be something that you don't even have to think about. Let's see what just fell fog veiled so spirits not being completely obvious with how this is going to go down but they are letting you know that it's going to be effortless it's not something that you have to try hard with or try to control things or try to make too many plans it's just going to happen naturally all right more for virgo and how this person's coming towards them through a spirit animal more for virgo hummingbird Hummingbirds travel a lot of distance. They are migratory birds. So this could definitely be someone that lives far away. And it does kind of make sense with the chariot. This person could live out of state, even out of country. Um, or maybe you're in the same area as them, but they live a little bit further. So they have to travel a little bit of a distance to get to you. I do feel like this person's willing to do that. Um, and they, you know, hummingbirds with their peckers, I feel like their beaks, they're like super... Um, I don't want to say annoying, but they they really go at things when they start pecking. So I feel like this person is really, really wanting to get in touch with you, really wanting to talk to you. So maybe you don't talk to this person right now, currently, Virgo. Let's get more for Virgo and the energy coming up. Okay. 
milk he needs some milk that's the first thing i'm hearing okay so this person could be a little bit goofy they could be a little bit out there they could literally live in farmland area that's the image that's on the milk container so maybe they don't live like in the city like maybe where you live maybe that's why they have to travel to you um, but milk symbolizes purity to me too because that's the first thing we start drinking as babies um, it's also white like that's the color of purity so there's something about a a pure clean slate maybe you've never been with this person before endurance I almost feel like you both are coming towards each other without even knowing it the way that this man and woman are kind of just you know like they're under a spell but I almost feel like this woman is God and she's like she's got the reins it's like you guys are just like puppeteers of God coming together in the best way or I guess puppets I guess God would be the puppeteer all right, more for Virgo, and it's endurance too. So that means that they are moving towards you. There's a lot of moving energy in this. More about this person coming towards Virgo and what's being revealed, what's coming up between Virgo and this person. Full moon energy in Aries, what's coming for Virgo? Power, okay, full moon energy coming out, power. <sighs> Love that. So I feel like you're going to get to, maybe you're the one that's going to make a move, Virgo, or it's like the ball is in your court. In some way, you're going to have the reins on this situation. Let's get more for Virgo and this person. So we have 44, playful, and 22, both angel numbers, playful and letting go. This is definitely a theme in a lot of these readings, letting go and just surrendering to spirit and going with the flow and following your impulses. I do feel like this energy is someone that like loves to have fun and really wants to have fun with you, but they're not trying to try too hard. They don't want to effort too much. They just kind of want to go with the flow. And I feel like that's how you guys are going to end up together very quickly. Let's get an archetype about how this person is feeling about you, Virgo. What's coming through with an archetype? The self, and I am noticing something about colors here with the hummingbird, the self. This is definitely someone that is very independent and loves you for your independence and your playfulness and your creativity and what you do. They love that you're an individual and a non-conformist Virgo. Um, and I do feel like with the self, the fact that this person is like not revealed behind the self and fog veiled, maybe you don't even know this person yet. But I feel like their soul is coming towards you. We're calling out for you in some way. All right, let's get more. More for Virgo. Final messages for Virgo with the full moon before we go into charms. Take the first two. Cut away what is no longer needed for you. So maybe there's an energy of like, I don't know, an old energy of an ex or someone that you've been dealing with that Spirit won't allow this person to come forward towards you until you cut that branch. So whatever that old energy is, Spirit's telling you to clear it, Virgo, because this is all about a clean slate. See through the perfectly purple lens of your galactic destiny. We have 22 and 23. Things are happening in divine synchronicity, divine order. This is all about seeing through like rose colored goggles, like seeing your best self and the beauty all around you. Um, and, and that really does mean cutting away the dead. So I feel like there's an energy in here about letting go, feeling inspired, but also feeling inspired to move away from what is no longer serving you. All right, let's pull some charms. Charms for Virgo. What's coming up for Virgo with charms with the full moon and Aries? So we have the flamingo landing on top of milk, okay? Flamingos, to me, are very delicate. Their legs look very delicate. They're very skinny, very stocky. But they also love to show their colors. Like, this is bright pink. There's something about colors in here and having fun and being playful and letting out your inner child. I do think that this is an energy about this person loving to have fun and i feel like you love to have fun too and that's the slate you have to start from you're gonna meet each other by having fun being in your own fun vibration so that's what's coming through virgo i hope this resonated thank you so much for watching this full moon reading and i will catch you in another moon phase reading very soon